this building, this whole street, mm -hmm. was full of famous artists. Sure. Yes. There's, I think I, I Every believe. Every studio on the street, from Columbus Avenue to Central Park West, 100% mm -hmm. artists. It was art block. Right. There are big stories about the artists who lived on 67th Street. Mm -hmm. you know, and I posed for many of them. And it was very easy for me. I just ran up and down each building, <laughs> into each office and studio. And the other thing is, I was secretary to many of them. Mm -hmm. I was not only the model, I was their secretary as mm -hmm. well. And that, then I became like a member of their family. I traveled to their summer homes. Mm -hmm. It was really a beautiful life. Yes. That's wonderful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This studio here that we're in right now mm -hmm. belonged to Dean Cornwell, a very famous muralist mm -hmm. and illustrator. I was his model for the murals he did for the New York Life Insurance Company. Okay. And you can see his murals. He did the uh, American Airlines building at Rockefeller Center. Mm -hmm. And he did the murals at the restaurant next to the Warwick. It's called Chow. Chow Aurora or something. I forget the name of that restaurant. But his murals are very famous. Mm -hmm. And I was very happy to be with him while he did his murals on this wall. Mm -hmm. From the left <coughs> to the right, ceiling to floor. This was a workshop. And the dining room was his dark room. Okay. And the kitchen was his costume room. It was re this was really a working art studio. Right. Yes. The, the other. Building across the way, outside this north window, was built. Mm -hmm. A lot of the artists below me lost their light. And they were in the middle of commissions. So I invited them up here to finish their works. <laughs> so one of the great artists was uh, Daniel Green mm -hmm. and Cedar Davison, uh, Al Murray, uh, Sandra Klein, Leonard Steckler, my husband, ex-husband, um, and Nelson Shanks. They all came up here to do a little work. Mm -hmm. And then they found their other studios elsewhere, and I had my place to myself. Right. Yes. But I was married to an artist mm -hmm. and a photographer and a filmmaker. And we had a big studio in the basement of this building, right. big skylight studio. And we traveled all over Europe with his commercials that he had to do for television mm -hmm. and for print. So this is where we... So you came it. home to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Nan Kahane, um, Mayor Bloomberg. Dear Mayor Bloomberg, I like him. I like him a Very lot. Much. I have a story about my dear Mike. When he was running for mayor, there was a um, flyer under my door every single day, vote for Mayor Bloomberg. And then he had a little history of his life on the brochures that he mailed out. And I discovered he's from Medford, Mass. And in Medford, Mass, there's a beautiful statue of me as an angel. It's called the Angel of Victory and Peace. And it was done in the um, 50s. And when I met him, I, um, he was sitting for his portrait by Mr. Shanks. And I happened to say to him, I'm very happy to know that you're from Medford, Mass. And uh, by, the way, you've met by, you before. by the way, I said, have you ever been to the Oak Grove Cemetery? He said, I live right across the street from the entrance. And I said, well, what's at the entrance? He said, the most beautiful angel at the entrance. It's about 20 feet high. That's great. <laughs> yeah. And so I dragged out my model's book, and I showed him all the publicity on my posing for his angel.
His mother's house lives right opposite the entrance. You know, she's 92 or something. There's a poster here. I was the Nabisco girl. <laughs> and when you go, to, if you visit Mayor Bloomberg's right. office, he gives you a An Oreo. Oreo chocolate cookie. <laughs> so you approve. <laughs> This is a beautiful painting of me, mm -hmm. that you, which you can't see, uh, but it was done by the artist who did my Oreo. Mm -hmm. Now, let's see what's in here. Hi. This is uh, Bradshaw Crandall, mm -hmm. a Cosmopolitan cover artist. And that's a Rolf Armstrong. You can't see it. No, it's really spinning. dark. Yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah. And the nude is by Roy Sprita, who did Oreo. Mm hmm And uh, he did the head, Russian head of me, Roy Sprita. And to the right is the cover of the American Co Canoe Association yearbook. Okay. Yeah. And by Rolf Armstrong. And on the floor are pictures of me by the famous photographer in Boston, Frederick Shaw. Hmm. This is my, my beautiful mother. When she came from Russia, uh, she went to school in Boston, and she was on the front pages of the Boston papers because mm -hmm. she graduated very quickly. Mm -hmm. She learned English. She was very bright. Mm -hmm. And this is my mother and father's wedding portrait. That's wonderful. And the icon was carried here by her mother. Wow. Three icons and a samovar. They landed on the shores of Boston. That's all they had. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. And this is my daddy. This is drawn by my brother-in-law, Joe Grappa. That's my father. Now, who's this? Grappa, I suppose. I, I worked for everybody in Boston. Right. Until I was 25. Okay. Then I came to New York to meet Rolf Armstrong, the calendar artist. Mm -hmm. Now, I'll show you his calendar. Oh, sure. Well, it was a huge kitchen. Yeah. These are my calendars. Oh, okay. These are just small reproductions of the calendars, mm -hmm. but they they were each one was for the full year. Right. And they were done in 48, 49, 50. And this is how I came to New York with this tam on my hair. Mm-hmm. And the artist asked me to shake, take that tam off and shake your hair. You're hired, just like that, to be to be the, a calendar girl for him. And this is the sketches he he did of me first, the calendar artist. And this is a calendar that's in the bar. Mm -hmm. And this is how we spent our time, posing for calendars, singing and dancing and playing the <laughs> ukulele and the guitar, doing the hula. Sounds like a dream, actually. Oh, you know, I was interviewed by the Saturday Evening Post, like, what, 15 years ago? No. They said, no one, they won't believe that you had this experience. Yeah. They said, who would believe it? <laughs> But this is, here it is, here it is in black and white. He had the biggest palette of any artist oh, ever. Sure. 1,000 pieces of... Uh, um, Was it pastel, pastel or chalk? Pastel, yeah. chalk, right. And he ordered my ukulele from the Martin um, Music Company in uh, down south and when he gave me the ukulele, he, he really uh, nicknamed me. He couldn't call me Olga, because he painted only the great American girl next door. Right. So he, he said, what does your Russian name mean? I said, it means rich. He said, okay, I'm gonna call you Penny Rich. 
This was his model head studio, and here we're, we're, you can see we're not doing much work. We're always playing. Sure. <laughs> and here's, a, here's a color star here, yeah, that you can't doesn't see. doesn't quite photograph, but. No. And this is, uh, the, this is uh, the story behind the uh, little bathing suit. <clears throat> were uh, workmen's handkerchiefs from the five and 10. Right. And I just tied them around my body. Originally, he had the pose with two feet mm -hmm. together, and I had a cramp in my leg, and I put my leg behind the other leg. He said, hold that, that's the calendar. <laughs> so I was standing on one foot for a long time. He took, he took a long time to uh, do the work. This is the calendar artist. He took me sailing every day, and this is William James with my portrait. And this is the artist, Rolf Armstrong. This is the cover of the American Canoe Association. Mm -hmm. The drawing in, the, in your bedroom. Yeah, I love that. I really love this one. I love this drawing. This is by Bradshaw Crandall. This is Bradshaw Crandall's portrait in my bedroom. Mm -hmm. This is by my husband, this is by my husband. I used to do ads for uh, makeup and lipstick and, you know, beauty, beauty, beauty stuff. And this was a full page ad. I just put it away because it was too big. But this was uh, for ABC Radio. Mm -hmm. And here's Salvador. Again, <laughs> wonderful. How that came about and... Yeah, uh, Dolly uh, got this concept of the human skull when he was visiting Philip Holzman, the famous photographer downstairs. He did over 100 life covers, Philip Holzman. Mm -hmm. Do you know his work at all? I do, yes. Yes. Well, anyway, um, when Salvador was here, he presented this sketch to Philip, and <laughs> what he required was seven naked ladies to form the human skull. Right. So Philippe Halsman got a whole group of naked ladies to right. come and visit Salvador Dali. And he looked us over and he chose seven of us. And we were walking around the studio while they were setting up. He built a scaffolding mm -hmm. so that we could have a little pyramid right. of bodies. And um, we were there all day. Mm -hmm photographing and changing poses and having a lot of fun with Salvador Dali, who doesn't speak English. Of course, no. at, that, at that stage. Yeah. It was very early. Yeah. Um, but we, uh, we accomplished it, and it was a great success for a long while. It was photographed in 51. Mm -hmm. And for a while, people didn't pay too much attention to it. But now, it's, I see it everywhere, in all the ads. Mm -hmm. They feature the human skull. And we just had a big show at the Greenberg Gallery, saw Madison in mm -hmm. 57, and they showed different poses that we did in order to get into the skull as a final picture. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a color <clears throat> show, a slideshow, showing how we did it as mm -hmm. well. And of course, we have a book on how we did it oh, okay. as well. So that's the story of the skull. And after I posed for Salvador for the skull, he was living at the St. Regis Hotel, mm -hmm. and he invited me there. He said, I want to do some sketches of you. So I went to the hotel, and he did five or six sketches of me, and I've never seen them. And he mm -hmm. went to Paris, and I don't know what happened to them. Mm -hmm. So that was my last visit with him. No. Now, are there, were there other... The portrait is done by John De La Vega from North Carolina. And he was very ill all the time he was painting me. So he calls it unfinished. And he plans to come back and finish it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Assortment of portraits of of you that... Yeah, you know, Robert Philip, mm -hmm. a very famous artist, Robert Philip. There's a self-portrait of Robert, then a portrait of me with Robert up in the right in corner. In the corner. 
and there's another portrait. He did this. He used to put me on all his Christmas cards. This was a Christmas card that Robert did. And around the corner here is a portrait that he did that has been featured in the Madison Avenue galleries of the Carlisle in the past. Oh, sure. And then the other portraits that Robert did of me uh, were featured in the Our Students League windows. <laughs> yeah, and I was her secretary. We did a story of her life up there the, mm -hmm. with that newspaper. I forget that I can't even read the newspaper the anymore. The Soho News. The Soho News, right. <laughs> and next to uh, Sylvia is the artist uh, Howard Chandler Christie mm -hmm. with the two girls. And oh, on the left. Yeah. And believe it or not, today someone talked about Sabu the Elephant Boy. There's Sabu the Elephant Boy to the left. And Carmen Cavallero below. And Sylvia to the right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, sure. And then to the right of Sylvia is uh, Edward Steichen, the famous photographer. Sure. And below Sylvia is Carlos Montoya, the great flamenco guitarist. And below that is Rolf Armstrong, my famous calendar artist, mm -hmm. Brown and Bigelow Calendar Company. And you see... Magazine ad, magazine ad. Terrible headache, buffering by mm -hmm. the famous artist that uh, just died, Arnold Newman. Oh, sure, of course. You know, he just, he did this one. I was his secretary, too. He wore, it was here in the building, wasn't it? Yeah, he just died. And these are portraits of, of different artists on the street. They did all these little portraits of me. This is a wonderful portrait of me that Roy did. Uh, I was a the brush stroke. This is Roy Spreeder painting me. Oh, how I loved that man. I, I loved all my men. Isn't this gorgeous? I'm a nurse. Mm -hmm. I'm crazy about it. Just crazy about it. And this is the sculptor working in mm -hmm. the studio. Carrad. Portraits by Robert Phillip. Mm -hmm. Sure. He, he used them as Christmas cards. Robert Phillip. Robert Phillip. Joyce Breeder. I just did a documentary for PBS. Oh, really? On, on, on what? My posing for a very famous mural is Howard Chandler Christie in the Hotel des Artistes on the corner. And they interviewed me on how I got to meet him and uh, what kind of a relationship did I have with him. And uh, they showed me a lot of his works and uh, they photographed me, Kathy. Walls and what the thing that really disturbed me was that they kept insisting, what was his relationship with you? <laughs> And I said, oh, we were very good friends, very close, darling friends. We met in the cafe after work every night, and he had his table, and everyone came to say hello to Christy, and I was very happy to be his mom. Very good. But it, I, I disagree with some of these interviews, they're trying to find out you know, actually, Christy was like 30 years older than I, and the calendar artist was 30 years older. What did they expect? What kind of relationship would I have? We, we, they all treated me like their daughter. Mm -hmm. you know? Of course. Yeah. Yeah. And that was the joy of being a member of their families and uh, sharing all kinds of parties with them. And it was very close and friendly, that's all. I was very fortunate. Yes. I hope you told them the last part of that, that they treated you as a daughter. Oh, yes. <laughs> put an end to that. Right. <laughs> exactly. You know, that's been printed with the uh, calendar artist, Rolf Armstrong, and some of his articles said, would have Rolf Armstrong, Dean of Calendar Art, and 
his many daughters. <laughs> oh, I was just in a new book, Divas, Dames, and Dolls. Here I am. Okay. <laughs> I have. Did you have to choose which one you were, or no, were no, you able to go for all three? three? Yeah. No. Donna said, I'm a Olga, you're all three. You're a diva and a dame and a doll. <laughs> yeah. And this is a, I, sold, I just sold this nude by Bradshaw Crandall. Time on her hands is mm -hmm. called. I think that's all I have in mm -hmm. here. Oh. Now, you won't believe this, <laughs> but this is Bradshaw Crandall's work, and I pose for it, but it doesn't look like, thank God it doesn't look like me. But this is all my handwriting, <laughs> all in the background, and I pose for it. It was for the Dutch Tree Club. Do you know about the Dutch no. Tree Club? Yeah. They meet at the National Arts Club every Tuesday oh, okay. for lunch. But, and, and they honored me last year on the 50th anniversary of the Dutch Tree Club and Tony Bennett sang at my party. Oh, wonderful.